Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia. So, let's jump right back in. Hmm. Uh, it's nowhere to be found. Uh, I thought this would be a good source of information, but, um... Uh, I guess we'll just have to give up on the computer. Uh, are, and you're tired, aren't you? You should eat the food Toma bought for you, and just sleep for today. We'll get back to work tomorrow. That's right. Oh, super suspicious. Super suspicious. She lives in a fucking studio apartment. If she had her laptop charger, she would have been able to find it. August 7th, by the way. <laughs> Let's try to figure out your identity today, too! <laughs> is what I'd want to say, but I just realized something really important! Yeah, and what's that, Orion? The day before yesterday, Choma said, I told the manager you'd take today and tomorrow off work! That could only mean one thing, right? You've got work today! We don't even know what that work is! If we just sit around, well, I'm sure the manager person will contact you. And if Tom and Shin found out that you skipped work, they definitely say something like, You skipped work? Well, that's not like you. There really must be something wrong. And then they might even try to take you back to the hospital. If only we knew the place you worked, we could look it up and try to contact them. Huh? Oh, do you have a guest? Who'd show up at a time like this? <laughs> Good morning. Think you can go today? T toba oh, Did he come to pick you up? What? You have work today. Is it a problem that if I walk you over? Uh, uh, it looks like Toba's worried about you. W what should we do? It looks like you want to say something. But either way, we need to go now or you'll be late. I'll listen to your complaints later. Come on, hurry up. Ooh, we can't help it. Ooh, we'll just have to go and see what happens. We should be able to walk slowly and make it in time. Let's make or let's head over. Okay. By the way, did you go anywhere after or afterwards yesterday? Um, I was trying to look for my battery. Your battery? What battery? Oh, was it for your computer? You or you lost just the battery? How did you manage that? It must be inconvenient not to be able to use your computer. Though I guess it's not too bad since you've got a phone. The phone alone isn't enough information. Well, if only we had the charger. Wait, huh? You should be able to use the computer without a battery if you have a charger. Why didn't he, or why did he immediately assume you can't use it? Does Toma know you don't have a charger either? Well, just let me know if you want to use a computer before you find that battery. I'll lend you mine. You can do whatever you want on it. Even watch porn? Okay. <laughs> I will fill your computer with so much porn! <laughs> Today sure is cold, though. It doesn't feel like August at all. Whoa! I was actually wondering about that, too! It's summer right now, right? I thought it was August 7th today! I couldn't really find a good time to say it, so I just kept quiet. But isn't this weather more like autumn weather? A long time ago, when I visited the human world in summer, it wasn't like this. This summer has just been ridiculously cold. They were saying on TV about the ozone layer thickening somehow, and that we were entering a pre-ice age. A pre-ice age? Well, they're also predicting an intense heat wave the next summer, so I guess it balances out? Huh? This place? We came here before, didn't we? I guess the place you work is on this road. There are a lot of shops here. Hmm? What's wrong? It's this way. 
there is something super suspicious about you, Toma. 20 minutes until opening. <laughs> looks like perfect time to me. This is where you work? It looks like a cafe! Wait, this isn't the time for that! We've come this far, but we still don't know what to do! I wonder if the manager is here yet. He could have at least give or er, he could at least give us some time to think of an excuse. No need for an excuse, I guess. Hello, is the manager here? Why, if it isn't Toma? Oh, hi, Waka. Good morning, manager. Th this person is the manager. It's been a long time, Toma. I didn't expect you to return after your departure. What could have caused this turn of events? <laughs> yes, it's been a while. I'd like it if you could hire me once again. Or, here, eh. Uh, I can't read today, apparently. I'd like it if you could hire me again once I'm not so busy with school. The work you did here in the past was extremely valuable to the cafe. I would definitely consider rehiring you. And there's something we actually came to talk about. It's about Elizabeth. Uh-oh, here we go! I'm sorry this is so sudden, but I'd like it if you could give her some time off work starting today. Whoa. Hmm? Does this have something to do with the last two days she took off work? Yes, we still don't know the reason why she collapsed the other day, and she's not in great condition uh, to stand for long periods of time. If she were to collapse while carrying food or drinks, it would cause damage to the cafe and she could be injured as well. That's why for now, maybe until around the middle of the month, I'd like to watch over her while she recovers. I see, that is a very rational reason, but... Why are you telling me this? If possible, I'd like to hear her own thoughts about the issue. What do you think, Elizabeth? Hmm, Elizabeth, this could be a very helpful proposition, but I think I can see a problem. Uh, yeah, if you don't go to work, you won't be able to see your co-workers. Well, I think that would reduce the amount of stimuli to bring back your memories. What will you do? Honestly, <laughs> I don't like where this is going with Toma. No! <laughs> I'd like to continue working, please. <laughs> Are you simply concerned about Meido no Hitsuji because you're er, being able to operate? That won't be an issue. Fortunately, Kent has returned this month for an ex er, after, an extended, blah, blah, after an extended break. There are no issues in covering shifts. No! Don't tell me that! Wait! Since when has Kent worked here? <laughs> you should prioritize your recovery for now. <laughs> Besides, you don't have many shifts this month to begin with. I can't say there will be no effect at all, but it will be minimal. Anyway, I suppose I'll let everyone know you'll return next month. If you're feeling well, feel free to drop by once in a while. I'm worried about, worried about you, so it would reassure me. Thank you, that'll really help. Oh right, has anyone arrived yet this morning? Mine and Sawara are here. I see. Do you mind if I go talk to them? Not at all. They're in the office. I'm sure they'll be glad to see you. That settles that. Sorry for deciding this all on my own. Are you mad? I was just worried that you would collapse again. I'm going to go to the office real quick. Wait in front of the cafe. It won't take more than ten minutes. Sorry about that. No! I want to talk with Mina and Sawa! I was, in the, or I was in a cold sweat the whole time, but it turned out alright. This is all thanks to Toma, but I can't say that taking time off is entirely a good thing. Hey, so we meet again. Ukyo! Hi! Huh, who's this? It's been a while. Do you recognize me? Who, Elizabeth? Maybe you know him! Oh, don't worry yourself. It's not a surprise that you don't know me. More importantly, 
There's something I want to ask you. Was the man you were with just now Toma? Are you going out with Toma now? What? Why would he ask you something like that out of the blue? Uh... Oh gosh. Yes, I am? I see. I understand. That means... Oh no! <laughs> that means you'll probably be killed. What? Well, even if he doesn't do anything, thanks to his wish being granted, you're probably going to die. W what? Life's short. You better enjoy it while you can. Oh dear God. <laughs> Oh god! No! <laughs> oh no, it's so creepy! No! No! <laughs> but I think I understand! Oh no! <laughs> All of these guys are interested in Elizabeth! And because she always treated them so coldly and was like, no, I would never date you for whatever fucking reason. Then they're all like, oh, I want to date Elizabeth, so I'm going to make a wish. And then the wish is just like, okay, we'll have you date Elizabeth, but in return, well, I'm going to make you suffer because she will die. Oh, God. <laughs> Speculating here. We're back. We sure walked far. And you've been stare er, yeah, staring that way for a while. Are you thinking about something? No, she's talking to me. Shut up. That man left, uh, or left as quickly as he came. He was really creepy. Maybe you should tell Toba. Hey, Elizabeth, what should we... Look out! Huh? Are you okay? Wait, what? A flower pot came falling down from where? You don't look hurt. That was close. If that had hit you directly. Elizabeth, wait right here for a bit. I'm gonna go check up above. Oh no, don't leave me alone! Oh, he left! That was dangerous. Are you okay? If Toba had protected you, you definitely would have gotten hit. It must have fallen out of or out of one of the windows up there. That was scary. No, don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. Five minutes later. Oh no! <sighs> that, that music makes me panic. Oh god! Sorry. I looked around, but I couldn't find anyone up there. I might have been able to if I had searched longer, but I didn't want to leave you alone. Anyway, let's go inside. I wouldn't want something like that to happen again. <gasps> Maybe he knows! Maybe he knows! Maybe he knows that she's gonna die! Whoa! Okay, okay, things have just like been popping into my head right now. Maybe Toma knows that she's gonna die because of his wish. And so he's tried to keep her at like at home as much as possible so that way nothing bad happens to her. And like with the computer stuff, maybe he took her charger because he didn't want somebody to be spying on her through her webcam on her laptop? Possibly? Oh, it's so creepy! Alright, you, you stay at home. I'm going out for a bit. Well, we can't just leave that flower pot where it fell, right? I'll let the landlord know. And I'll take another look around the area. That was really suspicious. That flower pot didn't fall by mere coincidence. There was malice behind it. All the windows above us were closed. He noticed all that in an instant. The job was amazing. Well, that's because he was looking. That's because he knows. <laughs> I'll drop by again before going home. See.
See you later. A lot happened today. There was a weird man, and then the flower pot incident. It's good you were unharmed. Oh, and it's good to know where you work now. Wait, this is just another thought. But the cafe was on that big street, and there was a back alley behind it, right? Could that mean the Iki in your notebook could be a co worker? The back alley is close to the cafe, so maybe that's why you decided that would be your meeting place. Let's try asking Toba when he gets back. If he's a co-worker, it's highly likely that he knows. Ten minutes later. Huh? Iki? By Iki, you mean that Iki? The one at work? Oh, he knew! We were both waiters, so our shift didn't... Her shifts didn't really overlap, but I've talked to him once or twice. What about him? Um, I was just curious. Oh, really? Did you have business with him? Well, whatever. Anyway, back on topic. I talked to the landlord. He said he'd have it cleaned up. But I couldn't find out who the person who, or who the person who dropped it was. I'm sorry. Joba thinks there's a culprit, but if it was just an accident, there wouldn't be one. Yeah, it must have just been an accident. Let's leave it at that. Otherwise, it's too scary. Also, here, direct mail delivery. It was in the mailbox, so I brought it in for you. You probably don't want this, though. Anyways, I'll be heading home. I've got things to do. What happened just now was really weird, so stay inside. Don't wander around yet. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but I hope you'll give me a chance to relax, Elizabeth. Fuck, he knows! He knows everything! What if he knows about all the other guys? What if he knows about all the other routes? Oh no! <laughs> Uh, Joba didn't ask you, do you remember, or do you know that much today? Maybe he thinks you're getting better. That would be convenient. Let him, or let's let him think that way. Also, I just thought of this, but... Were you seeing two guys? Oh god, your boyfriend is Toba, but you were also seeing this Iki guy pretty frequently. Can you remember any of that? I don't like anyone but Toma, I'm gonna say. Wow, what a declaration! But if you're saying that, there's no mistake that Toma is your boyfriend. But it's still possible that you had a guy on the side. You really don't seem like that type of girl, though. Hmm. If he keeps working at that cafe, we should go see him tomorrow. You might remember something when you see his face. Or his eyes. Oh, hello, Ukyo. Hello. You creepy ass. <laughs> August 8th. Good morning! You're up early today. The weather's nice. It's August, but it feels like autumn. After we change and eat breakfast, we should go check the mailbox like we talked about yesterday. I doubt you'll remember anything by looking in a mailbox, but it's worth a shot. Sure, why not? The mailboxes were on the first floor. I wonder if they have any names on them. If they do, you'll know your neighbors' names. And maybe the building doesn't share personal, or but maybe the building doesn't share personal information like that. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, which mailbox has your number, your room, uh, your room number on it? Huh? What the? Ah! Let's go back. Back home, hurry! Uh-oh, what happened? 
What happened? Wait! <laughs> that was scary! So scary and strange! Did you see that? You saw it, right? The mailbox with your room number or on it was full of rotten eggs and dead bugs! What was that? That's not something people normally get in the mail! I was so shocked! I felt like we couldn't get back to the room fast enough! What was all that? A message! Now of all times! Uh-oh. Who is it from? It says it's from... Sawa! I heard from the manager that you'll be taking out or time off work for a while. Are you okay? Iki seemed to worry uh, worried about hear or after hearing about it too. Well, I wonder if the Sawa is a co-worker of yours. She seems to know Iki too. And from the contents of the message, it sounds like Iki is at the cafe today. Hey, want to try going to the cafe now? We can meet up with Iki. You might remember something if you see him. How about let's not go? Well, right. Leaving would require us to pass the mail or by the mailbox of terror. Uh, I don't want to. I'm too scared. Not of the eggs or bugs themselves, but the evil intention behind them is scary. You're probably even more confused and scared than I am. Are you okay? Uh, maybe we should go after we calm down a little bit. Yes, please. 30 minutes later. Dear God. <laughs> but I am all out of time for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Oh gosh, I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so anxious! <laughs> ah! <laughs> and if you haven't already, guys, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!